Hey guys, welcome to the 14th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at files and how to open a file and such stuff like that. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is on your main form, you're going to want to have two text boxes, just line that up there, and a button that says open file or really anything you want. But that's what it's going to do, it's going to open a file. So, once you have that, double click on your button and you should get this code right here and uh, right up here we're going to want to type open file dialog OFD equals new open file dialog and right here you can name it anything you would like but OFD stands for open file dialog so that is the easiest way to remember it alright and if you have your code up here um, this allows you to um, reference OFD or open file dialog anywhere in your code so you don't have to create a new one of these for each like bracket system or whatever you want to call it so what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to have OFD dot show dialog on the button click and what this will do is it will just show a open file dialog but since we have it since we don't have it programmed to do anything when we open it it will do absolutely nothing so the first thing that you're going to want to do, and I highly suggest that you do this every time you're um, having something open a file, you're going to want to have an if statement that says if OFD dot show dialog equals dialog result dot OK. And what that will do is it will only continue with the code if you um if you like select a file and click open if you click like cancel or if you exit out of the thing it won't do anything which is very good alright so then we're just want to throw down these brackets here or curly braces actually and we're going to want to put our code in here and the two strings that are very useful from open file dialogs are the file name and the safe file name and the, the, we're going to go over the first one first and which is the file name and the file name is um it's the address to where your file is located like if we go to an explorer right here and we see some these are all uh file names like it's the location of the file or the address so if we have textbox one dot text equal ofd dot file name and we have textbox two dot text equal OFD dot safe file name. Alright. And the safe file name is the name of the actual um file. So if we were to open up this GPD right here, FFEO seventy one dot GPD, that is the safe file name. Alright, so now let's debug. If we open a file. I guess I'll just open up that GPD that I was talking about. And there, as you can see, we got the address or the file name and the safe file name. Okay, now something else you're going to be looking at is a filter. And what a filter will do is it will allow you to only open up a file with a certain extension on it. So, um, what you're going to want to do is just type OFD dot filter and then what you want to do for the filter is you want to put a quote and the first thing you type is going to be the little reminder or message that it shows on the side to tell you what um, extension it is so I'm just going to put GPD and then to um, separate the message from the uh, extension you're going to want to put a line and you hold that by, or you get that character by holding sh the shift key and pressing, it's like a little thing, it's like a, it's a key right above the enter key. It's like, um, it's to the right of the, um, closed French curly brace. And then you're going to want to put a star, which is shift 8, and then your extension. So we're going to do dot gpd. Alright. So now it will only allow us to open GPD files. And all the other files will be filtered out. See? That's the little reminder right there, GPD. And it will only allow us to open 
GPD files. So it, it will only allow, it will only show folders and um, files with the extension GPD. All right, now that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding open file dialogs, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. So see you guys.